All right, there we go. Uh, welcome everyone. Um, so hopefully everyone received cards. I know we're still sending them out and some folks are new members that recently joined. So um, if you've joined and you had your address to Olivia for a while and haven't received it, definitely let us know. Um, otherwise, hopefully people have them. Um, this is something, so I mentioned, um, we've been working with the legacy team on this platform. And really the whole thing is to kind of tie together some of our physical and virtual events and obviously the membership itself and kind of back it with the blockchain too. I mean, obviously we've been very fo focused with uh, NFTs and the blockchain. And I think this is a, an interesting experiment in kind of a non-financial way, you know, without anyone owning cryptocurrency or uh, any of that kind of fun stuff to actually leverage the blockchain with the cards. So all of those cards are linked to NFT wallets. So when we're creating these accounts for you guys, those are um, essentially NFT wallets. And, um, and all of the things like the tickets and even your member card are essentially NFTs or they're tied to an NFT on the blockchain. Um, Steven, why don't you kind of introduce legacy at a high level? We met them because they're working in the entertainment space. They're doing a lot of interesting work with comedians and entertainers. And I will get the uh, the short presentation also teed up here while you do that, Stephen. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think you broke up a little bit. I don't know if it was just for me, but I think uh, you just want me to kind of walk through a quick summary of what Legacy does. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. So Legacy, uh, what we are building is uh, an elevated membership program uh, platform, uh, and. Uh, NFTs are a component of what our membership platform can offer. Um, and if, I guess to dive a little bit deeper, um, what we're aiming to build is like a Patreon-like product, but just for top creators and brands where their members actually care about their identity within that community. Um, if we think about like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Patreon and just how that, that membership program kind of works. Um, people pay to subscribe and support a creator or a brand, um, but they they don't have any sort of identity on Patreon, right? If I'm a five-year uh, supporter, that looks no different than a person that just started supporting Patreon, uh, supporting them on, on Patreon. So uh, our platform allows for uh, those community members to kind of shine based on uh, how much they've engaged and supported that um that creator and or brand. Uh, and then we also have our uh, trading card NFTs that are uh, used to kind of memorialize interesting events like the one, uh, like the event that Trusted held in LA. Um, or if you guys have a, um, like, let's just say a, a, the, the social, right? If, if they wanted to drop a card to kind of memorialize that event, uh, you can kind of drop an NFT card to kind of celebrate that, attach a photo album to that event card, uh, and then that you just have that on your profile um, and another thing to kind of just uh, show your identity with that brand. So yeah, that's a little bit about legacy. Awesome. Thank you, Stephen. And let's get started here. Everyone sees my screen, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I'll kick it off and then Olivia is going to take over. Um, so the card, like I said, is kind of the physical embodiment of the wallet, right? But it's linked to this whole online platform that Steven and team have built out. Um, and here's specifically what we're doing with this. So for all of our events moving forward, virtual and in person, the conferences, the socials, those monthly calls that we do, um, we'll be doing NFT ticketing for those. And so um, we'll still have like a regular registration page, but you know, you'll be able to, when, when you show up at the events, basically use the card as a as a ticket, right? And you'll have record of those. Same thing, if you get CPE certificates for the monthly calls that we do, we're actually gonna mint those as NFTs and put it in your wallet. That sounds fancy. Uh, <laughs> Craig. Uh, <laughs> <He's> so <much. laughs> but like legitimately, all you have to do, you'll log into the platform, which we're gonna walk through. You'll download it, it's still a PDF. It looks exactly the same like a certificate, but it is there. And so if you're at the end of the year and you're like, hey, let me go download all of my CPU certificates from everything that we did this year, it'll all be in one spot. So, you know, we're, it's sitting on the blockchain, which is cool, but um, it doesn't really require you guys to do anything super fancy. Um, and, and then uh, we'll, we'll cover this, but actually Steven just walked us through this last week. They've been really building out certain tools around event chats and kind of chat in general. And um, 
there was actually, I don't know if everyone saw this, if you were at our event in June, there was an event chat running for that conference that was kind of filled up with interesting questions and whatnot. So um, it's kind of a way around events and especially the conferences and whatnot to pose questions to the speakers and um, you know meet each other and kind of introduce yourselves maybe to other people that are there that you haven't met before. Um, at this point, we're gonna go through what you guys need to do to activate the cards. Maybe some of you have already done this organically. It's really just a couple steps. Um, I will turn it over to Olivia from uh, my team who you've probably all been in touch with already, uh, but she's gonna go through uh, this part to kind of walk you guys through. If you have questions during this, feel free to chime in. You know, we, we'll kind of go through it. You can also email us afterwards, drop something into the chat. We're kind of paying attention to all of those. So uh, we'll make sure everyone gets set up here. Yeah, hi everyone. Um, okay, so the first step is going to be through your email. Um, you should have received an email from Legacy a few weeks ago um, on the same email that you use for your trusted advisor account. So I'll give you all a moment to go back and search for that email. It's sent by admin at legacy.shop um, with the subject trusted advisor just gave you an exclusive card on Legacy. So hopefully you can all go back and find that. Um, if you can't find the email or for some reason used a different email, then uh, yeah, let us know in the chat um, and we will set you up with the right email after this call. But it shouldn't really affect much. And once you have this email, the uh, it will take you to the rest of the steps. So is everyone able to find that email? Did anyone already go through this process? I, I, I tried, it didn't work. You tried what, clicking the link in the email? I will, no, I, I took a photo of the, the card and it. Um, you probably need to find the email because I think the card should already be linked to that email. So then once you activate the account through this email, then it should all already be linked, basically. And right, Craig, in, in, if any of you are like missing it or you can't find it, I think we can go in and resend it to you also. There you go. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Okay. Yeah, I just looked for mine. I actually I have a, I have an email from you, Matthew, from uh, Matt, from uh, regarding this, but I don't have that one. Okay. I'm yeah, I, I never got that email either. Okay. I'm writing down all of the names. So we'll make sure that you guys all get this. Um, anyone here, do they know if they actually did get it and like run through this at all? Matt, this is Ryan. I actually did it, but when it came up, it was a weird, I feel like I logged into the wrong account. It had me as daily blush 687. Oh yeah. And, and that's actually right because we've already created an account for you and tied the the card to that account you oh, just okay. are claiming that account and you're claiming once you claim that account by uh, verifying your email address you can then change your username at that point in time but it's just gotcha. an auto-generated username just to make the the, the process simple I, I why am i mr pink i don't want to be mr pink <laughs> <laughs> sorry you're locked in for life now i'm like yellow 352 or something <laughs> Um, we'll actually go over that too, about setting up your own info and uh, changing it from those names. Um, cool, okay, well, I think uh, I wrote down at least everyone who mentioned it, or I think said it in the chat, so we can move on. Uh, all right, Olivia, I just switched the slide here. Okay, cool. So when you click that link in your email uh, to activate your card, it will take you to the legacy website and this prompt on the screen will pop up. Welcome to legacy, uh, start claiming your exclusive access card. And so this is our trusted advisor card. Uh, so you'll just click that green button at the bottom, join legacy and claim card. Um, and then that will take you to where you can set up your username and password. So are you saying if we didn't go through the link first, this process wouldn't have worked. 
Correct. This this um, this uh, modal will only show up if you click that link from that email. That email is specific to each person. Um, yeah. So we, okay. we definitely need to click the link from the email. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. So yeah, once you click that uh, join legacy and claim your card, it will take you to uh, the first prompt on the left, join legacy, um, and you will continue with email, um, which will take you to the middle prompt. Um, and that's where you can adjust your username uh, and enter in your first and last name. So that can be whatever you choose. Um, and then when you continue, then you will create your account and your login credentials. Yeah, and in the email, you'll see that on the um, create your account uh, modal that like your email will already be populated there. You can't even change it because we've already tied an account to that email. You're just basically uh, creating a password at this point in time. Yeah. So your username is adjustable to whatever you want, and then yeah. it'll just be your same trusted advisor email. Yep. Uh, agree to the terms and conditions, and then you can just go ahead and create account. Okay, once that has been done, uh, you will be in the legacy website and um, there's a few things you can do. First is you can view your collectible. So to do so, you will have your profile name in the top right-hand corner of the website. Um, and that will take you to your card collections where you'll find your trusted advisor card. Um, when you click view collectible, you will be able to see uh, kind of more information about the card and you'll be able to add more information about yourself as well. So the lower right hand where Max Mouse is um, image, that is what will show up when you are viewing your collectible. Uh, and depending on how much information you wanna share or how much you wanna customize it personally, you can click the edit button in the right hand corner and add in the about the owner section, um, you can add a, a bio about yourself, you can add your social media, um, really up to you, whatever you want. Um, and that is the information that will be linked to your card and your trusted advisor collectible. So for example, when you are at a trusted advisor event and if you want to connect with another member using the card, you share your QR code, then they, you will be connected with their card and they'll be able to uh, see your information or social media or whatever information you put on your profile. Um, so this can effectively operate as a virtual business card, even people that you meet yeah. outside of Trusted Advisor. So there's basically two things. I don't know if I'm probably super tiny on your screens, but I'm holding up the card. There's an NFC chip on the back of the card and the QR code, effectively, they're both linking to the same thing, the same thing, your card. Um, but you can tap that NFC chip to anyone's phone and it'll pop up a little code, uh, URL basically that'll take them to all of this info. So if you meet people out and about, you can kind of share your info that way pretty easily if you're- What do you mean card. by tap it? So, uh, hold on, let me stop sharing on my screen so you guys see me, you guys see me. So um, the, this is the chip. Mm -hmm. and like i have an iphone um mm -hmm. so you just kind of tap it i have a picture of my dog on there and see it just popped up mm -hmm. so you just hold it up to the top of the phone i think the little chip reader is like right behind this at the top oh on wow iPhone at least yeah and it's the same if you turn on your camera and scan the qr code it would be the exact same thing so if you meet someone and you're like, hey, let me scan that real quick. They can do that. And then they have your, like, if you put your email in the bio, they would have your contact info then. They could save it. And it could be anyone, not just anyone that has exactly. this as well. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So that's super cool. Let me go back to my screen. Uh, cool. 
next. All right, and then we wanted to show you the actual, let me go over here, um, dashboard, right? Because this is where Steven and team have been building this out. So you probably get these updates through email and whatnot, but we'll also post here about upcoming events. This is what you'll see. This is kind of like the landing page, legacy.shop, trusted advisor that you see when you log in. It's kind of like a dashboard for the whole group. So we'll post updates here. You'll see your own cards. There's the chat. So this is kind of across the board. Um, and um, yeah, just a way, like, I think if I click in here, I have the card, obviously, because I was at the conference. So you can click back into those items too. I wonder, do I still see the event chat from this? Maybe not. You don't see the event chat, but you see the all the images. If you scroll down, you can see all the, the photos from the- um, That's right. From the, from the event, yeah. So. yeah. so we'll kind of save this. You'll be able to go back. It would be the same, you know, when we do like the um, CPE calls, you can click into that, see your certificate, you know, things like that. So are NFTs still a thing? They are now, Craig. <laughs> you, <laughs> now you're a holder. <laughs> These are non-financial. I mean, you can't sell them, you know what I mean? So it's uh, kind of NFTs without the pure speculation. Yeah, there's no uh, speculative value. Um, yeah, at all. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's it at a high level. Now, obviously we'll go dig up these emails, um, make sure that everyone is set up. If you didn't raise your hand then, if you just want to ping Olivia and I, we'll make sure that everyone gets set up. Um, but uh, yeah, any, any questions from anyone? No, easy peasy. Cool, and then um, we have a couple of events coming up. So we're next week on Tuesday in six days, we've been doing uh, New York City happy hours at the Classic Car Club, which is a lot of fun. And so we're doing that. And then in LA, probably everyone here should have an invite to our big summer social in two weeks, exactly on the 17th at the Four Seasons private residence there. They were kind enough to donate the penthouse to us for the evening, which is just listed for about 75 million. Um, so that'll be a, a fantastic event. If you if you went to our spring social, it'll be along the uh, the same lines as, as that event, just at a, a different venue. So hopefully we'll uh, see everyone at one of those two events. All right, thanks, man. Cool, thank you guys. Enjoy the rest awesome. of your day. We'll send this out as a recording. And like I said, just ping us if you ever run into any questions or issues. Thanks. Thanks, Beth. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.